Hi, I'm Dr. Ayyappan. I'm a surgical oncologist from Apollo Cancer Centers, Chennai. I'm going to talk to you about endometrial cancers or otherwise it's also called as uterine cancers. Endometrial cancer is the one which arises from the endometrial layer of the uterus. It is always considered as a case as a disease of developed countries. But as of now, we are also seeing these cases in our countries and now it has become a disease of both developed and developing countries. It usually occurs in the elderly age group. At times, it can also occur in the younger age group. This disease is generally caught in a very early stage because the way it presents. It usually presents out with a pervaginal bleeding even when it is in an early stage disease. It's a pervaginal bleeding is the symptom. So what happens in endometrial cancer? It is a cancer which arises in the innermost layer of the uterus which we call it as the endometrium. It is from this layer that the lady gets her menstrual periods every month. What are the signs and symptoms? Since this disease usually occurs in the post-menopausal age group, that's the commonest age group where this disease occurs, if there is going to be any vaginal bleeding in this set of patients, it is very important that they need to meet a gynecologist immediately because even a drop of blood in the post-menopausal is very important to be evaluated immediately. Rarely, it also occurs in an younger age group. But how do we make out the signs and symptoms? If the patient is going to have an intermenstrual bleeding or menstruation which is going to be very irregular, which is not getting controlled by any type of medication, they need to be evaluated. If the patient has advanced disease, then the patient gets abdominal pain, abdominal discomfort, the patient will not be able to eat food properly, there will be loss of it. All these things are pertaining to that of an advanced disease. The risk factors of endometrial cancer are unopposed action of estrogen which is a very important thing which has been documented. Other than that, it is the changes in the lifestyle. Patients might be having the risk factors of diabetes, hypertension. Very important thing is obesity. Most of the patients whom we see in clinical practice, they are seen to be having obesity as the most important thing. Other than that, patients who have been suffering from other cancers, previous cancers, like when we talk about endometrium, we talk about colon, we talk about ovary, most important is breast. How do we diagnose these cases? It's very simple. The thing is, patients are worried and afraid about the pain component. It is by just a biopsy of the endometrium, endometrial tissue is taken, that we call it as a TNC, wherein we go into the endometrial cavity, take off some tissue from that of the endometrium for the biopsy purposes to know what type of cancer it is. Endometrium is a cancer where it is usually staged by that of a proper surgical procedure. Though it is a surgical stage disease, it is very important before we start the surgical procedure not to have any surprises on the operating table. It is important that we do some investigation. The investigation of choice when we suspect endometrial cancer or when we get a diagnosis of endometrial cancer, MRI of the pelvis to know about the local regional spread of the disease. And we also get to evaluate the liver and the lung to see for any surprise metastasis or spread of disease to these areas. When we talk about the staging of endometrial cancer, it is basically what I mean to say is where exactly the disease is. If the disease is confined only in the endometrium inside the uterus, we call it as a stage 1 disease. If the disease has extended into that of the cervix or if it is going into the multiple other layers of the uterus, we will call it as a stage 2 disease. If the disease has spread to the regional lymph node, what do I mean by regional lymph nodes? If it has gone to the pelvic lymph nodes which are adjacent to that of the uterus, then we call it as a stage 3 disease. If it has gone to other organs or to other lymph nodal stations, basically if it has gone to the liver or if it has gone to the lung, we call this the stage 4 disease of endometrial cancer. How do we treat these patients? The treatment of these patients, surgery becomes the main modality of treating these patients. Usually, surgery is done by either by an open method or by that of the minimal access method which is by laparoscopy or by robotics worldwide. This is one site wherein it is accepted that laparoscopy or robotics is accepted in cancer of the endometrium. Now, 
depending on what the final results are in the post surgery pathology report the patient will be subjected for additional treatment the additional treatments can be in the form of radiation therapy or it can be chemotherapy if the disease is very much confined only in the endometrium we don't need any other treatment surgery will be the only treatment the speciality about our hospital is that we have a multidisciplinary tumor pool wherein each patient is discussed about what the st stage of the disease is and accordingly whatever further additional treatment is needed that will be given to the patient if the patient have a locally an extensive disease the patient will also receive radiation therapy the radiation therapy can be in the form of intra cavitary radiation therapy for just radiation therapy to the local site or it can be for the pelvic radiation therapy that is to give radiation therapy to the whole of the pelvis which we call as the external radiation therapy again i am telling you the radiation therapy is not painful it can be easily received by any patient if the disease is quite extensive if the patient have nodal metastasis or spread of disease then the patient needs to have chemotherapy after all this treatment it is very important that the patient is on regular follow up as it has been prescribed by the physician or by the surgeon follow up is necessary because some patients rarely they might develop any recurrence the beauty about endometrial cancer is nearly 90% of the patients are stage 1 diseases so recurrence is quite rarity in endometrial cancer but the patients need to be on follow up to see whether they develop any other malignancies or any other problems related to that of the treatment generally these patients they do very well all these patients they have excellent life even after treatment they can carry out with their day to day activities in a regular normal form